Hi everyone, my name is Jim and I'm gonna give a lesson, an introduction about a famous uh, data structure or so-called algorithm. His name is KD Tree. And maybe we can start it from the uh, GitHub uh, event. So here, uh, if you haven't had this following things, uh, I recommend you to install uh, as fast as possible. And today's goal is to try to make our versions about the fast searching algorithm. So if you're familiar with uh, Launchbox, I believe this create RT tree components and release concept. This will be the closest uh, tree So my goal of today is to replicate this best searching algorithm and by creating ourselves this different approach. So maybe you know there's a there's a R tree. I know coming R tree. Oh, there's a class called R tree here. Some of the fast searching algorithms implement special searching structures to speed up the searching speed. <coughs> and today I'm gonna introduction the, the other ones, not like default R tree. I create the other one so called KD tree. So let's take a look about my GitHub page. Uh, Oh, yeah, I have a link here so you can see the definition of our R tree if you want to learn more. And some other special trees uh, called pod trees is also interesting and recommend to learn. And today we will focus on KD tree. And what is a KD tree? K means uh, you can put any numbers inside K. So there, for example, there will be a uh, 1D tree or 2D tree, follow along to a KD tree. But since the Rhino is a 3D uh, graph software, so today we're going to have a 3D tree. So far, everybody can catch up. Okay, so why we have to have a tree and, and or maybe someone not familiar with tree sense in computer science. Tree is a abstract data type, and tree maybe maybe you heard heard it before, but uh, I here I list some of the prop import in, in important properties about a tree. So this uh, this sentence I. Grab from I copy paste from a wiki. We can all watch together. So first, we know it's an abstract data type, and it's like a uh, ironical tree structures, and has a root value, and also a subtree, and also a tree, also children's, and a parent node. So I list some ideas about a tree here. And we can learn one by one. So here yeah, I think the important of a tree is for one is no circle. There is no cycle. What what is a cycle? Cycle means that uh, like a graph here, if you you can go back to one root. For example, if you go down and for for identical for a definition about about the proper tree. You cannot go back to the uh, origin. Like for example, for, for example here is once you leave A, you cannot go back to A, follow the, follow the other paths. 
Does anyone clear here? So far. So if you if we try to understand the hierarchical means, it's basically like uh, the graph here. So let's say in your family you have uh, you have your child and your your their parents. And also you have your own parents or or maybe you have your grandparents so the level is very clear but if you once you have the cycle here the, the level will get confused why will get make this confused for example this one is not a tree this one identify the the graph information about the two inside this tape, uh, this picture, but you didn't know the hierarchy. You didn't know who, who is on the topics about this relationship. So the important about a tree structure is you will always know who is the, for say, this, who is the grandparent about one big family. Can everybody know this idea so far? So, one thing I think very important here is to construct a tree, we should guarantee there's no cycle inside this data structure. And secondly, uh, we have node and so-called vertex, uh, vertex inside a tree idea. For example here, for each person, for each person I, I, I for example, is a grandparents, parents or you, is a people. So now this one is a node and node contains the information about a person. And the relationship between you and your father will, will identify your father will be your parent node and you will be your father's child node. So the relationship is uh, upside down, uh, upside down. For, for like uh, you can you can say the one maybe here the, the girl will be the, this man's daughter and this man will be this man's uh, uh, son and this girl will be uh, and, and this man will be this girl's father so the relationship will mm, maintain very clearly And the other is a tree, but this, this seems obvious, but uh, it will get very confused follow very soon. So if we follow the idea about a family, you can see here maybe is very, it, this identify a very big, very large family, have a lot of people. But if you split it into very small pieces, this one can be its own, fam own family. So this idea about the family inside a big family is so-called a subtree. So we, we have a big tree, we have a small tree inside a tree, it's so-called subtree. So follow this logic, it will be a lot of subtree inside a very big tree. Okay, so far, does anybody have any questions? So since we have a lot of uh, these hierarchy level properties, we can do something recursively inside our code. So, one thing to implement a tree structure is to use recursive function. And a recursive function is a function who code itself inside its definition. We will see later on. But now I'm going to uh, give an explanation about what is a node. So as I say, uh, for the following, for the previous example, a node is a person. So 
the information contents will be a person. But uh, for this case, we want to, we only want to know the point, which is the closest between a lot of points. So the information will be stored in, as a point 3D data type. But if you want, you can you can you can use this algorithm to to do something like you don't need to have to what I say is you can do something like uh, family member. By doing this, you can construct a, another tree which node contains the different information. So it's a thinking about, it's a, it's a, basically it's a thought and how you transfer your, your, your problem in, transfer your problem into a solution is depends on how you take, how you, how you think about the, the questions. And, and one thing interesting in here is these are our class node. We also have these two member. And this two member is also a node class. So if you think about, I named it left and right, because each node has two, uh, two nodes con connected. You see, I finally so KD tree is one of a binary tree. So what is a binary tree? Binary trees guarantee a single node have two child node uh, at most. So if you see here, as a one node, I will have a last node. And also, I will have a right node. And in this sense, the left node and right node here actually means a address, a pointer, point to this information. By follow this logic, you can see this node also contains the pointers point to the other two. So if you grab one, grab from the root, grab from the topmost node and pull it up, all of the information will visually like connect to, connect it to each other. All of them have relationship. So how can we starting from one node and traverse and go to the other node is something we are going to do. And the class here is very clear and simple. The constructor of this class is if you're giving a point, you will store this information inside our node. So far, is the definition about I'm gonna is the, the fundamental stuff I'm trying to construct a tree. Okay. So well maybe I have talked about this a bit, but uh, you can if you have any problem you can try to catch up from the description here or the, the link I Hope you passed here. There's some terminologies about a tree. Uh, you can see that, for example, there's a height, depth, or level of a tree. And it represents a different uh, name about the property of construct of one single tree. Okay. So far, I give a very brief introduction about a tree 
inside a computer science stands. Maybe some of some of pro, uh, some of the member here haven't used a tree before. My think this is a big topic, but actually it's very uh, fundamental if in in the computer science field. But it's very hard to uh, learn for the first time to, for me as well. So far, any problem? All good. So I believe many of the member attend to my 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 lesson of this time also attend to Ido Kawasan's lesson about the, the fast searching algorithms, a lot, a lot of points. And I believe he used this point list, point 3D list to find the, to find the previous point like this one, so this I index. So this class basically, I believe in the implement one of the best first, best, best searching algorithm. And so why I saw this binary search since I can confirm this class also construct a binary tree before before you do the fast searching algorithm. Okay, so that's one thing I try and I want to mention is, and also, also maybe you were wondering why we have to have a tree to speed up the searching process is that if you think about if you think about uh, the way we used to find the closest tree, very naive way, uh, maybe let me try to try to open the. So people people see my see my GitHub can download can download the file here and 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 and. I'm really bad at organizing my files, so so let's let's do it again. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I just did. Okay, so if you open my repository, I have this uh, close this point dot GitHub, uh, dot, dot grasshopper. You can see together. So, yeah. So here is one attempting experiment. I try to confirm that my algorithm is Faster. So we can take a look one by one by get rid of these things. And there's too many points. So, oh, yeah. My drop code. So while while we waiting while we waiting my computer, we can all think about naive way of finding of finding finding the always always point inside. Of 
the first first things come to mind will always be a for loop. So you may try to do a for loop and for loop inside something and to get the distance. Uh, maybe distance of two points, point A and point B. And store store in distance maybe we can say as a, as a double. And compare here to distance or distance to something max. If if it's bigger then override them. If it's bigger then override them. Like something like this. This is very intuitive way of thinking about how we how we find the closest point. Even if I dis disable the, my my tangents is is also very good. I want to display. So far is great. Maybe you can start it from 1,000. Or maybe it's lower. Okay. Here we can do updating and do like 100 points. And we can get uh, this one. Okay. And also we can have a certain point. Okay. So the thing I do is uh, we have this populated three D and among these three one hundred points, I want to find the points closest to the points I assign. So let's get one point here. So this, this put into the list calculation is search up to this one is the closest, which very obvious if we see in person. But what is inside here? So inside here is very intuitive. Basically, everyone will come to their mind at first place. Is you have the you have this distance uh, property distance number and you compare to the distance about each you just connect them and compare to and select the closest one. But we actually implement one for loop and this loops length. If if we have one thousand one hundred points then we have to run 100 times. So it will get worse if we have a lot of points. We basically have to run a lot of times. So let's say the searching process takes n times so far. And, but why to construct the tree will be faster is that compared to compared to a tree, you will go that the that the searching process go to log n time. Log log n time. 
so so far. But but why is log n? If we think about this diagram, you see, we're starting from a node, and maybe this one twenty one will be the uh, closest point. How we should go to twenty one? We'll go down here, go down here, go down here, and then find a twenty one. But this structure contains a lot of points. How and why we don't need to traverse? Why we don't need to go to test each point to find the one we needed? Because we can understand in this node, we didn't need to go to the left part. We just get rid of it and go down to the right part. So here I say the tree only takes you log n time. What is this log n tends from? You think about it's a binary tree. So every node in the each in this level will be something about two spectra. So you see this one is two to two to zero. This is this one is two to one equal to one uh, equal to two. It's two two to two, two to two. Can can anybody knows me? Uh, I'm trying to say is this this things. So I I because my English is not that good. So but uh, I I know a saying about this 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 expression is two to two. Two has the uh, fact factor of two. Okay, so what I say is we have two to zero as no, two to one as the binary tree. Maybe we can do something. Okay, so we keep focus on this one and two to zero is one. This one, two to one is this one. Two to two is this four, three, four, five, six. So I'm trying to explain this. And for for like we have, if we have six layer, we have six level. We can contain sixty four points. So, so for like the example here, we have this point, this node here. How many tasks, how many calculation do we need? Like one, two, three, four. And why we have these four numbers as the times we travel is because it's the same as the, as the node here level and also the same as the number of of this one four so in this layer we have 16 nodes so the opposite of our exponential will be the law so the, so we we actually we contains exponential things we contain things exponentially but while we searching, we we kind of press the information so that the searching process we only have to do in the log log sense. So far, any problem? So so I think this one is very uh, difficult to understand, but. Uh, since I'm bad in Japanese and I'm not very good at English, and maybe I make this exponential even worse. But I, so far, I just want to know if everyone follow this idea or have any problem here. Yeah, I think I'm fine. 
for the, the other members. So far, I'm trying to say, as a tree structure, it contains things exponentially. I have a lot of points here. But while we're searching, it's, we can just do it in log time. And these log things make the searching process faster than we do in the end time. Okay. And let's, let's go back to my file here and and leave the resume. So here I compare the, this one is not, not yet searched, and this one tells its point. I think this one is also the points 3D list at the tree structure, so it's faster. And this one is, I try to use C sharp script to do point 3D post. We, I just code it inside. And this one, interesting is, from the launch block, we have this component to create an R tree and also use this R tree structure to search the search point uh, with the benefit of this structure. So this thing, these four things might, might be as fast as like very close to each other. But since I think there's no one bring KD trees to uh, KD tree implementation into final publicly, so I try, I think it's good to, if we can do together. And so starting from now, I'm formally going to explain what is a KD tree and how we implement it. So if you see the file about this explanation demo, I create, you can open it. And yeah, uh, I think it's hard to visualize in 3D. So I try to visualize in 2D first. And once you get that sense, we can we can just think about 3D and do 3D 3D tree. So uh, this this example is is very interesting. And, and first, I should explain uh, I should explain what is this point about. Like think about the red point is. For instance, other point cloud we need to uh, we need to search. We need to construct a tree structure. And uh, this one will be the point. Oh, okay. Wait, let me try to explain this way. The blue one and the green one will be the points we need to find the closest point among the black point. Is it okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven points of black. And we have two points. We need to find the, among these seven red points, we find the closest points about these two, of these two. Okay. And what is this line about? It's basically the spirit about the KD tree. So go back to here and see if. So here I say very 
I, I give a very easy way to construct a KD tree is to when we have to sort point list and then find the median points as a node and then divide the list into two subtrees and with these three steps we can uh, do it uh, repeatedly repeatedly we can repeat this process and create a tree and i'm gonna explain why so uh, let, let, let me try Okay, I disable this confusing things. We have a bunch a bunch point and we want to construct a tree. The way we do is like I said here, sort point list first. So there's a lot of way to sort the point points inside C sharp. And you can you can call the link queue or something, but uh, but once we sort the the order will be like zero one two three four five six. We if we sort along the x axis, right? And we we sort as a x axis. We find a median point will be this one. And then, and then we find the median points. We have two subtrees. One is the left side. One is the upside. The left side and the right side. And then we can do these two. And when we do when we do these two, we sort as a y coordinate y direction so we need to we need to find the median but this time we sold it in y direction so the median about this subtree these three points is this one and on the left subtree the median of about the left subtree is this one and follow this logic we can do this one because but this one is um, I think it's not that meaningful but but computer need to do things completely so it needs this division so we have this and if you can see each regions for me this one will be a subtree this one also will be a subtree this one also will be a tree. This one will be a tree. And all of these things will contains, will become a big tree of everything. Okay. So this example, if you see here, we have, we have this point. Well, this, this one is very, this one is special case, we should do here. We have this point here, and how we can use the tree structure to find the closest point. So, um, we have this one as our roots, and then we've, we noticed this one is in the subtree about the left node, the, the, the right node. So oh, again, so so we have we have this one. We will find this one because so after we construct the, the tree structure, we can starting from the node and notice this point is 
in the subtree about uh, in the right subtree and inside the right subtree is actually the right subtree beginning with this node this point now represents a node and this node also have a left tree and a right tree but we notice that the point is in the right tree and we go to a right tree and go to a right tree means this point pointer it has a pointer to this point so now 15 3 this point it's a node and this node also have the left tree also have the left tree and right tree as we follow along we can notice that this point and this point are the, the a pair which forms the closest distance so far uh, it's it's a standard standard output about the tree structure okay i i see someone's nodding and i believe we catch up but this case is special if we think about it together first this belongs to the right tree and then we go we now we, we traverse in this 16, 10 points as a node. But we notice it, it is inside the, uh, let's say, the, the lower subtree. So it, it should be, we should go finding this point, this region, and find the points uh, closest to this point. But in this case, the closest point about this 49 is actually only only this subtree right because this point is the closest point about this point so which means although we construct a tree we have to somehow to make sure the the calculation is smarter smart enough that we the, the, the decision we made to go to the tree and get rid of the, the other tree is correct enough. So it's something we have to double check. But we also have the benefit to use a tree. This is uh, the, the small thing but very important in while we trying to implement the KD tree. So the code here will be very simple. But to understand the logic, I think you should, if you, if you feel confused to understand the logic, you should go back to view this example from time to time. OK. So uh, I will use this one to demo the, the Okay, actually, actually the closest is, is, is this one. But it, it will go search this one. Okay. So, 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 so. Oh no, this one is not correct. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. So let's get starting to programming. I have my code posted here and it's very simple so I will follow along the program things but let's say 3D, 3D tree. And maybe, maybe, maybe we can do today's day. And okay. 
you can let me open to Visual Studio and see the code here. So here we have this. Somehow I found this this is this is not a very good man. And uh, our goal is to make this one first. We have two components and we have to make this one first. So we have one in input, one output. It will be there if we do this. Point, point parameters that I'm a bit lazy. So we'll do a quick cat for this. And uh, there will be uh, okay. Okay. Will be a list, right? We, we should assess as a list. And for the output, we will have. Um, we want to output, let's say, we want to output uh, our main class. So it's not belong to Grasshopper's classes. So it's actually I made as my test. How do we do that? Is we add a general and this one a lot can let us output our custom classes. So we can do output a baby tree, and this one will only be one tree. So we can the item the output of class. Okay, and follow along the our class. So we can do something like here. I have already set up and try to do no class here. But I, I know for the professional, they will do something like here, but I, this is not very long code. I just do it in the same document. So the note, the information about this node will be a point. So the three dimension will be 3D point. And the Node will have to have two nodes as the property left and right. Although it's a node, it actually represents the, the beginning of the left subtree and the right subtree. Just keep in mind. And for the constructor, so maybe I'll just say that this one is the constructor. For the constructor, we have we have to try to connect to our class to a Rhino world. So I using this constructor to make point three D as the information we contain. So maybe you can guess I will. I will use this constructor to put the information inside the node class. And the next, we will have a class of our pretty tree. That's about pretty tree. 
Maybe I'll just do it the same way. A, B, C. And inside we have several properties. Uh, I will explain one by one later on, but uh, let's just do. We will have an, an, a node called root, and the root will be the topmost most uh, top node. So I just do the things here. And since the node is a, it's, a, it's actually a pointer. So if you playing around the grasshopper a lot, especially coding in C sharp, you will notice that the C sharp contains a lot of things in as a as a pointer. So you so you have to do things if you want to copy past one thing, you have to do like reduplicate curve or reduplicate duplicate the E rep or something. So it's very um, intuitive, especially I'm I'm learning C or and C plus plus first. So it's no pointer. It's actually a pointer's idea, but it's not the pointer we can see through the code. And here is also uh, this one is constructor. So Maybe you don't need to follow the coding things, but I, I just want to stay one by one. And here, this one is constructor, right? So as a constructor, we have two input, inputs, the dimension and also a list of nodes. So we have a bunch of nodes and we put the nodes inside here and the type is a lot of, like we give a lot of nodes inside this make tree function and return the topmost as a node, but it actually is the root. Can everybody understand? So it will be here though that we are doing. Maybe I, because since you have code, I just copy past you. Like make tree, or I use, I use link to the, to, to the so remember to add this one. Do you follow usage about the uh, order by? So here, if we read my code here, we had the uh, nodes as a list of nodes to put inside a Mac tree function, and this function will return a node. But the return this node actually it's the root about everything. It's a root about this tree. And the second parameters, input parameters will be the depth. And if you noticed, I I do this one, I say it's a cases, is this is a 2D two D cast. So in 3D cast. We have to, in this case, I, I, first I search this way and I search, uh, no, no, no. First I sort the points this way and I sort point this way and I sort point this way. But in 3D case, we have to sort points in three dimensions. 
So, so I do these things here. You can say this one is sort, sort by x at this. And from one and two will be sort by y axis and the z axis. And since we want to do it, uh, repeatedly, so I do these things. Okay, maybe it's hard if we see. So the depth about a tree is, is the level of, of, of a tree that is different. So you can see the depth of the root is zero, and this is one and two and three and four. So I believe I explained in my here. The depth of, of the, the depth definition is first the depth of root is zero. And the depth is the the depth is the depth of parent node plus one. So go back to uh, this one. The node of the depth of the node is zero. The depth of the B and C will be one and two and three and four. And since we're doing a KD tree, but in this time K equal to three, we need to sort things every three times. Means we sort X axis, Y axis, and follow along the Z axis. And at the first, the, first, the, the next time we want to sort, we will have to go back to X axis. So here I divided by K and and does anybody know this one? So so here K is the dimension. But in this case the dimension will be three. We, we are creating a 3D tree. So this axis since we only output zero, one, two. Okay, so we will do these things repetitively. And I will do this more today. So this one is sort points along different axes. This big one. This part. And the second, remember we should try to tap the median. No. The median point was the no. See here? The second point of our construct tree is by the median point as, as the node. So the second thing I'm doing here, once we sort the nodes, I find the median, and this median will be the current node, the second step. The first step, because we have three directions, so we, I, I have to do this. And the second point, second step is one line only, and here, the third step is dividing the list into two subtree. So this is actually the third step. Divided the list into the two left and right subtree. So we have the left subtree and right subtree. And the, the tree is a bunch of nodes. So I made a list of nodes to contain the left subtree and the right subtree. And 
actually Google these functions. So we can do like skip starting from the index of zero and take the median of the nodes. So this one will be the zero going to the half of the nodes index. So this contains the left tree. And this one contains the right tree. Now some, for the case, some of you might not familiar with dot skip and dot take. For me, it's very new stuff. So I do uh, this quick demo. We also implement reusing the link here. And we can skip zero, we can skip zero and take the half of the X. And we can skip from the halfway plus one to the to the end of this list. And the result is here. So the median of zero going to four eight. It will be nine numbers, right? So the median should be four and the left subtree left list and the right list. Follow along this link function will give us this one. So you can take a look. So anyway, we, we're going down to the third part of controller tree. And the next things we need to do is we need to go down one more depth. So this one is two things with fit. The full step we recall to this one. And until I've already traversed all the points and put them on our trees. Inside our mate trees, I do, I call them mate trees. So this function actually runs recursively. I construct a tree starting from the root and the root, the depth will be zero. But the next time the depth will be one and two and three. And follow along. So by doing this recursively, we can construct a tree. So far, any problem? We have left points, left nodes, left subtree, right subtree. That's a bunch of nodes. So remember, the first things we have. A lot of nodes without order, but we take all the things one layer by one layer. That's by that. We the depth of zero is fine so far, and going down here zero plus one equals to one. But we have to make the lab subtree. So these nodes, these nodes. The, the left subtree of the, of the this node, we also create by this make sub, map, map tree function. The right about right subtree about this node, we also made about made from make tree function. So far, I believe we construct the baby tree. So you see the code is simple, but actually take a lot of steps and so on. Yeah, I also, also copy that here. So the next step will be, we need to, we need to have a function to help us find the nearest. So as this function will ask will give one point as a as our target to you see you see here you can think about as one point and a tree. We use this 
point as input, trying to find inside this tree structure, which one is the closest. So we can do some golf here with no roots equals to no. Since since the loops, this one is global, global variable. I declare it here in this class. So the root is null means there's no tree. So if there's no tree, we should return null. But if there's a tree, we should do it differently. So in this case, we didn't we didn't do the best distance. But if we want, we can we can output the best distance. And here's the function. So before I do, we should return the best. And the best is our the, the type of the best is a node. So my near list will return a node contains the best solution point. Okay. So here I have one function for finding the near list. And this function has a definition. So I do things. I define the nearest point, nearest function as this name. And we can all look it together. So this function will compute the best point among all the points inside our tree structure as, and return as a node. After we get a node, we, we, can, we can just uh, read what is the point it represents for. So what is important here is, what is our nearest function do? So we have, we have node, and this node will be used as representing a tree, OK? And we have the other node, and this one will be the point, the searching point. And also the third will be index. And this index actually is much the same as the depth. So the index here is much the same as the depth before, because we have to find things in three directions. We search things in three directions. So the index here will have, will have the same calculations like the depth here, to divide it by k. And in this case, k equal to three, because we, the kd tree now is the 3d tree. Okay, so what is going inside help us to find the, the, the closest point. And I'm going to explain. Like here is obvious if it's a null means we don't have a tree. So to prevent if there's a no tree, we didn't have to find this no solution. And secondly, I have this variable named B, and B is equal to the square of the distance about the target point and the root point. So the root is an object here, right? And this object class is a node. And inside the node, we have a property called PT to contain our point 3D class in Rhino world. So I can use the benefit from Rhino common to use dot distance to to calculate the distance between root point and the target point. And B actually is the square of 
And next, if the best is not is null, means that we haven't found the best point in these questions. We should deal with it. Or if t less than best distance, we should override d. We should override the best distance with d means that this is much like the if statement in the in our for loop, my for loop. So we're trying to find the closest distance, right? We, we eventually we have to do this. But we the with the data structure of the tree, we can do it less times. So this these things happened in for each loop in a very intuitive way from the beginning. So compare and replace. And the, the other special case here is if the best distance equal to zero means it found itself. So remember I said there's a point and a tree. And this case is a point and a tree is overlap. The, the, the point actually inside a tree, they are the same thing. So this is something we are not wanted. And here, this, the three directions, we have a dx variable. I said the uh, initial value equal to zero. And then we calculate the the distance, but it is only in one direction each time. So why I'm doing this is because uh, um, we we saw things in three we 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 saw saw points in three directions. So I can use simply use the like. This one will be the distance between root point and target point in only x direction. Does it make sense? Yeah. Because I only subtract in x direction. So this is in only y direction, in z direction. And after, but, but we have to this in each index case first. Because the 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 we have to we have three that direction right we have three directions so we have to tackle each by each and this one will give us the next index so we guarantee after zero there will be one after one there will be two after two there will be zero next time and so far we run one time of finding the nearest. But since it's a tree structure and the tree structure, we do it recursively. While we trying to find things inside a tree, a one, one way, although, although the tree can, can be constructed and traversed in, in simply while loop, but here I try to do things recursively. So, this single line is maybe a bit difficult to read, but we can we can read together. So if the value of dx is bigger than zero, which means at least in one direction, the 
the, the point is, let's say, let's say, let's say, because I am using the root point to uh, minus the that target point. So we will, we will can think about, okay, do like this. If B X bigger than zero, which means root point is 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 on the left of the target point in X direction. Case. Can everyone agree this sentence? Because dx is the root point minus target point. So if we add this condition in x direction cast, dx will be bigger than zero's case is means the root point or the right. It, right? The, the what what I'm trying to say is here we have a line. This is the x axis, and somehow we have two points, and the dx will be this value, right? Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe I should do dimension. The dx will be this value. This one will be our dx. And it's bigger than, I, I use this x axis to structure this x axis and return to a bigger than zero, which means the, this one will be the root point and this one will be our target point, right? And this, this, this way of writing is actually a long dot expression. Maybe some of you will know. Actually, this means if dx bigger than zero, then then it's the left left subtree about its root, and if it's not, then it's a right subtree about this root. And if you take a look about what I put in here, is this one. This expression will return either the left subtree or the right subtree about the root, right? And I put it inside of this function. So this one is actually a node. And I use this node to keep going through the traverse process, going through this, finding the closest process. And then my index have already at one to go down to the next layer. So visually, if you you think if if we think it is that somehow we take step from one to two, but we have to keep going down. We have to use the five the nearest function to keep going down. So by doing so, we have to have this at one index to go down to the next layer. And somehow inside that the next layer, we have to determine if there is a, we, we should go down to the left, left subtree or the right subtree. So how and why, uh, how, how can we determine this by this? dx value. So, so far, good. As an input. And the same, the, the target point, target node will be the same, because we eventually finding the points between the target and also the root. The target and the, and the tree. So, from, eventually from, from here, Everything is over, and and here, like 
one condition is if the square of the dx value is bigger than best distance, we we call it a day. We we make this function stuff. So so far any questions? Ah, sorry, Masen. すいません、日本語で。あの、d、wt、d ですかね。d の計算式。あ、そうです。これ、これの意味をちょっともう一回説明してもらっていいですか。単純ななんかこう、二乗してるのっていうのは、何か、えっ、ー、と、特別な意味があるのか、ちょっとよくわかんなかったです。<笑>もうこのこの D の意味は結局この D のカルキュレーションは最後の出すのことは距離このベスト距離のことこい,こいつの目的はここですもしそのこの3つの方向の中の1つだけでしょう。その dx のスクエアバリューとベストディスタンス比べてこいつはまずこのライノーライノーの中で絶対の距離でしょこれは計算するするとあの 3D, 3D の距離ああス,スクエアをしてる理由がちょっと分かんなかったんですよね。スクエ,スクエアしないとダメ。スクエアしないとダメなのかななんかそこら辺の理解です、ね。So、is, like, why we square distance not directly compare the x and the distance root without square? So, Since dx actually dx is possible to be negative. Ah, negative. Yeah. Hmm. So, 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 <笑>こっちでもいいあ,あ理解理解しましたあ,あ,ありがとうねネガネガティブになるから、うん、OK ですありがとうございます Looks like using a absolute is cheaper than using a square distance うん I don't, know, I don't know if there is any other reason why you use square instead of absolute. I think square is cheaper, is not? Uh, well, since in, when you want to calculate the best distance, you just don't have to multiply the same distance again. So I was、mm. thinking the absolute might be cheaper. Because、mm. you don't need a, uh, additional calculations. Uh, uh, I mean,、uh, double D, right?、Uh, the double D. You use、uh, when you distance. calculate when you, this distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one, I think.、Yeah. So yeah. you calculate twice. So I think 40,000 suggested 
use a booster because you don't have to take it twice. Yes, yes. So, so I, I believe inside this distance too, it do the uh, square root because it's from the right triangle formula, right? So it's a square plus b square equals c square inside this. And, and inside this one, you do a square root. But here, I'm just lazy to, to make our, we can, we can do, we can do our own distance function and, and without the square roots inside this one and just one simple formula. There's also actually a function called distance two squared. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe you can replace that with that as well. So as I we have we had this square root to have to do so this this one. So I do things. Yeah, I see. But in my mind is something like this. Right. Yeah. So anyway. But but good good question, I think. I haven't haven't explained to this point here. But this one is guaranteed that the we, we should have an endpoint about this about this uh, recursive things, right? We should stop this recursive once this condition fits. Like we meet these conditions and then we stop our calculation. Right? Okay, so here is normally we'll close this lesson, but uh, if you remind the explanation here, this point is special. In this case, we have to do it certainly. We have to tackle this problem certainly. And the way we're doing this is we once again to come to see if dx is equal than zero. But in this case, we also to evaluate the right node and the left node. So in this case, in this point, we will first go to the right subtree and then go to this subtree. Uh, sorry, go to this, go to this subtree. Since this one belongs to this subtree. But it's not it's not good. It's not it's not it's not correct. We should also check this subtree for this case. So as a result, we have to do these things here, left to right, right to left, and the other things is the same. So I will give a demo about if we have this one or without this one. Let's just say if we, if we comment out this one, Yeah, maybe I just go back to this one. Uh, this is from my, my GitHub page. And we can find the uh, this one. Because maybe you know uh, these GUID things. 
I just want to make sure that I didn't have to this things which aren't the same. So I use the previous. So if I comment out this one, in this case, you will find the wrong point, right? But in the normal case, in this case, in this point case, it will work perfectly. So I want to demo this by actually build this one. Okay. So we can move this one. And go to my yeah. maybe maybe I need to. I made a new line. Mm -hmm. And our GHA will be this one and this is so when we open up the open up the We have a uh, KD tree and uh, that's the output. Now we should tackle this. We should take this point. This one is normal. Normal point. So it returns to a correct solution. This will perfectly. But if we use this point, find this one right but it's actually the, the closest is this one right this is two because this is two plus one is two square plus one square this this is the side so this one will be perfect perfect after lesson for this case but it isn't because because i comment out the this line so if if we do the process again, then maybe there's a one there's a, a better process for our But uh, this three again, I build it again. And uh, try to find inside my This one. Mm.
And this one, this one is the nearest. And we do one. So the point now is correct, right? This one, from the list one, we search to the correct answer. The previous one search to this one is not correct. For the normal case, it works perfectly to find the correct one. So we can guarantee our real algorithm works in the in a very simple cases without with like seven points, then we can do a bunch of points and actually have the power of binary search with PDG. So um, maybe we can quickly run through what is inside this component. But uh, the algorithm is, is just uh, the algorithm, no, the, the, I just, I just put it to the, the other, the other file. So we have this, this component, right? And uh, we, in this component, we have these classes, but we have, we have this component as well. The file here is inside my solution file. Is is this component? Is this component? And this component have two inputs. One is KD tree, and this one is my own classes. And this one is simple points 3D. And the output is the process point. And how we can stop this? We still have two classes and add gen genetic parameter. As for this one is for taking our KD tree, custom classes. And the other is simple, is a point. Point will be a point. Not point. Anyway. So this simple point and finding this item and return and the closest item. And this no other close here. So this one is simply for for like this object oriented feeling about oh I have I have built this one first and, and while I'm searching I'm I'm separated here. So if you want you can go inside one component. But I just think we can compare the KD tree and also the Launch truck tree together. So, yeah. Once we, we have KD tree and it's starting from nothing, and we take the KD tree as a reference inside, and now we have a tree. And we now, we can, we can do it like something like here. And this, now I know this one can also be doing like this. And to, okay, so maybe here. And we take the target point and we use the five nearest. And remember the five nearest, we, we divide it inside here, the five nearest. And the important thing about the five nearest, and we have this function is called nearest. And the nearest is a function do things recursively. And we also have this for special cases. Yeah. And that's all. And while, and we return since is the nearest node, 
the nodes formed. So back to the right nodes world. Okay, so far. That's how we how I construct this too. And and all the today's purpose about introduction about introducing this trick is actually for the other for the other bio contents in my GitHub. And but this one has a lot of points, so it makes it very uh, shocking. Low. I'm trying to do things here. Now we know this one is very slow because it runs. It runs not if for you. It then times. And I think this three, this four takes log n time. And this one is our today's target. Okay. We're starting from simple like 1000 points. And uh, okay, we can do something like this 5000 points and, and split it into this A and this B, and this one will be 1000. So, so, so. Oh, this one is for the target point. Okay. For one point. Let's start from one point. Okay. And then compare starting from, we should see. Yeah, although, although I disable everything, it's still preview the point. Okay. This one should should be able. Um maybe this one should this one. So while you open my file, please be careful because it's very Huge. And let's do one thousand point. I don't have one thousand. Okay, let's do one thousand. This one, this one thousand point. And okay. Okay. And I don't know if you have a Meta Harbor or not, because I recently know Meta Harbor has this launch Baco Next Navigator. This one will find it the the one cost you most time to cal calculate. So since right now, all the calculation things happen in this one. So we will find in the, this one. And we should, we should first know, first of all. Okay. This one. And we found the, the closest point. Without any problem. And this is very very small number. We should we can compare this too. You see? This is a naive for loop. We just travel through all of the distance and suddenly it gets huge. It takes almost twenty times time, two hundred times about this closest point component. So this is not something we want. And it will definitely crash your computer after we increase this number. 
So we should see something more. Oh, but but it, I mean, we, we can compare. I hope we can compare this. This one. So I do the points 3D. But it's somehow it's not that quick. I should recompute. The second time it goes down very quickly. But it, the original po closest point is still faster, a five times faster. But inside this point 3D dot close point, it's, I just, we have near this point and uh, and uh, I call this function, close this point in the list, it's a default function, and return on this point. But it's still fast compared to this one, right? Make sure we compute. First one, first one. Okay. It's not obvious, but slightly faster. Well, once we go, we should take this, take this one to see um, the return to create R2 takes one mini seconds and fighting is super fast. It's going down like here. And ours So this one, okay, it will, it will show in, right in, in the middle of the canvas. So my, my way of constructing tree is huge. It's slow, slower in the case of 1,000 points, even slower than we do a naive way. And our tree is tackle this problem very good. But somehow I do seven times you see my trading trees going down here. So somehow maybe there's something about the coding machine level, but I don't know. But it this seems very import unimportant. It's not a big deal because we do not have that really big number of points. So once we go to this one is this one is ten times larger than this one, right? It's one ten thousand. So you see my KD tree. You, you combine my KD tree and uh, five nearest. It still performs well. It's still slightly better. Do then this one. This one is two times of the number we found it. And actually, while we doing this increase the tree, the point inside tree, we can increase the point about searching. So let's say now it's not one point to a tree. There will be 1,000 to a tree. I'm not sure if this will work. This one should definitely. And we do like one hundred. Okay, oh, fine. But on this one, my KD tree and the R tree. R tree, R tree, K, R tree. This one. So this going down and and didn't get better after I recompute. So this one is not good in case of we increase the certain point. So it's not, I think it's not wise if we still keep compare 
the current state with this component, the I. Um, and this one working black might be the next one will break up. Still, still fine. But uh, I should treat an angle. Okay. So we added 5,000 more points here. This one become the low, the, the slowest one. And also we can go for maybe, maybe. Yeah. So see if we compare to R tree two, this two is create R tree. R tree closes. This two is sixty four milliseconds, and the KD tree is like for one thousand uh, one hundred one hundred thirty milliseconds. The R tree is slightly faster, but we didn't crack out like why why if this part work yes. okay it will be all of today's lesson i think <laughs> so while you do maybe because i have to tackle this crackdown issue every day. So some tips like solution, disable solver will guarantee. And what I always do by doing large points, I, I know that it's very heavy if we, we want to preview them. So, 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 I uncheck the preview, but I still need the data behind. Okay, so, so it's all about today's lesson. Thank you very much. It was very interesting one and very informative. Thank you very much, Jim. Um, uh, so, and now I think all of us know each other, so maybe the question QA time. Anybody has a question for this session? Um, you can ask it for her. I have actually one question. Um, in the, the nearest function you implemented, you have a, both a uh, uh, nearest one, uh, when you search left and right node, right? You explain, yeah, for the special cases, you have that you also search for right instead of only dead. But in that way, it's uh, calculating, a, that means calculating both. What, or, uh, sorry, I didn't understand that the part um, for the nearest dx zero is bigger than zero. You have, uh, you search left. Oh, this one? Uh, yeah, that one, so the nearest one, you search first left. Uh, and then you also search right, right? So you have both. You search in the both. Is that means or um, um, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I think I don't. I I couldn't ask him well, but 
両方、それ、in Japanese、両方サーチしてることにならないのかなっていう。ここでリターンできるから、リターンできなかったときに、ライトもサーチしてるっていう。For the special cases? For this one? For this, yeah, 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 for the special cases.、Um, it's,、uh, If you cannot return, you have a special case, is that correct? Or you have to also always have to search in light node. Yeah, and this case, this case is this, this. Yeah, this case is for the special case. Yes, yes. And always you have to search for the special case, or you have returned it, so that is okay to have for both. So you have searching left and right in this folder, right? I see. So. Leave, the behavior will be differently if you put、okay. the leave. This one might be heavy, a lot of heavier than you put this l i n e Because、uh, normally you traverse to the tree, you use This one. Yeah, okay, okay. And, and before, even before you check, you, you, you find the, the solution. You will have to, you are still going down to the tree. So, so what I'm trying to say is in this case, you You have to at least find a solution. Then we will, we will try to maybe, maybe I, I, I can explain this. This, 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 this. So I, I didn't have any software to help illustrate this one. And I always do. I always do this. In shop things. Okay. For example,、mm -hmm. uh, we always start i n g from root.、Mm -hmm. And let's say this is the correct, correct answer. This one is. This one is correct. This one is correct answer. Okay. But, but since we're going down one by one, oh, oh no, it's actually not like this. We're going down one by one. But, but what if in this case, suddenly you found, oh, The, the point is more like, like in, in, the, in, the, in the left subtree, you will find the, the correct one. But actually, the correct one is this one, right?、Mm. So, in this case, in this case, we guarantee we have a solution. But it's, it's not the correct solution, right? Okay. So, So, in the, in the list point, this node to the list, this node, this actually implements one kind of the nearest function, right?、Mm -hmm. But the nearest function, from the solution, it returns, it returns this end, this was end. So, this, this end means it gives. 
this one solution as, as our nearest point, but it's not wanted. But, mm. but with this, with this, so, so we go back to, you see, this, this nearest function, while you re return nothing, you will go mm. back to this one. Mm. This point, you keep going to this special case. You traverse to this point, to find this point. So, so let's say the different example, like you get, you get wrong very quickly. Let's say eventually we found this, this one. We found this one as a solution, but the correct one is this one. So, so after, after we found, we found the, it returns no, it returns nothing, you are back to here. And if it returns nothing, you are back to here. But starting from this layer, you will go mm. down to find the correct one. Because I do like this. But if we, in the normal case, in the normal case, didn't go wrong, we'll go down, down, and return nothing, return nothing, return nothing. And return nothing. And mm. Usually, you are something big like this. So that's what I say. If I put this one right before this one, will have will heavily influence the speed because this one actually means. Oh, um, I, yeah. Okay, okay. Searching I for both three. Yeah. Okay. 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 So. Mm. Well, this is uh, important since you need to mm -hmm. guarantee how you okay. traverse that to mm -hmm. I see. Thank you very much for the explanation. That's for, it became clear. Thank you so much. Okay. This is very abstract. Yeah. Thank you as well. <laughs> じゃあ一人一人一人あの